Welcome back to the Sanders Kitchen. I'm Mike, and today we're doing turkey gravy. Let me just explain. We've done turkey gravy a year ago when we first got started doing YouTube videos, and while I did like the recipe, and while I've made it like that many times, I've simplified it, I like it better, and I just want to show you what I'm doing now. So let's show you what's in this recipe. We're using onion. We have two medium-sized onions. We have garlic, celery, and carrot. And of course, we have three and a half pounds of turkey wings. We're gonna use some light olive oil, a little salt and pepper for right now, and you normally you would use parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. If you wanna use fresh ingredients, feel free to. I would put that in the stock water later, but, and not now. Um, if you want to, you can just get yourself a good poultry seasoning and season the meat like that. But it's up to you. It's really not going to make or break this recipe. So let's go ahead and cut up everything and get it in the oven. It's real simple. We're going to take three ribs of celery and coarse cut them. <laughs> Hold on, I had them in there. Take some carrots, put them in here. Hey, if you want to get fancy, cut them on an angle. Of course, cut your onion. And one head of garlic. We're just going to cut that in half. Beautiful. Throw the whole thing in there. The star of the show. Let me put this right here. Let me just go ahead and put some light olive oil. I'm not going to tell you how much. I'm just going to sprinkle it around. It's not going to make or break anything. Maybe I have a quarter cup, half a cup. Not sure. Probably a quarter cup. So I have some salt and pepper mixed. Uh, this is regular black pepper, and I have some pink Himalayan salt, and just a little bit, and that's all I need, probably a half a tablespoon. And I'll mix this up a little bit. That's all I need right there. We'll put our turkey wings in. We want to roast these 425 Fahrenheit. for about an hour or until we have some browning on the turkey. See how easy that is? So we're gonna put this in the oven, 425, see you in about an hour. See how beautiful this looks. After an hour, it's gorgeous. So now all we need to do is take everything out of this pan and put it into the stock pot. Next, we're gonna add two liters of water, which is a little bit more than eight cups, and another four cups. There we go. And we're going to add in two tablespoons of poultry seasoning and six teaspoons of chicken powder. It's a little salty, so it's really, it's only, it's supposed to be like, uh, I think 12, you know, a teaspoon per cup, but I cut that in half. So what we're going to do, bring this to the stove and boil it, and uh, once it comes to a boil, we're gonna simmer it for two hours. And right now, our house is smelling so good, it's amazing. When you do this, I'm telling you, you're gonna be thinking Thanksgiving all day long. So let's go get it on the stove, and I'll see you in a couple hours. The turkey's been boiling for two hours, 
and everything. I'm telling you, the turkey just falling off the bone, the carrots and the celery just looks like it melted down to nothing. The garlic is down to nothing. So I'm at a point right now where everything came out and we, we just put everything into this strainer right here. And now we're going to strain the liquid. Now it's still a little warm on the bottom, but up here it's okay. So I'm just going to pour it. We have probably close to seven cups left. Uh, and I, I simmered for two hours with the lid on. So we weren't reducing, but it did reduce. So I'm just going to get the rest of this liquid in the mixing bowl and uh, then that's good enough give it a little press we'll set that over here and now I'm gonna pour some of this in our gravy separator and what we're gonna do is just let this set for probably an hour so the fats gonna come to the top all the stocks gonna go to the bottom and then we're going to take some of that fat and make a roux so that we go on to make a great gravy. And that's the next step. So I'm going to let this sit, let the fat rise, and then we're going to show you what we're going to do. You know, we let this stock sit out for over an hour, and I'm telling you, there's hardly no fat. It's really crazy. So if that happens to you, you're going to have to have some fat, make a little roux just to thicken it up. So what we're going to do is make a little roux and we're gonna to add to this, so watch how this happens. So we're gonna start off with half a stick of butter and I'll start putting my fire on medium heat and we're gonna let that butter melt down. And look, it's not all melted down yet, but it will. So I'm gonna start adding some flour and whisking it around. So I have equal parts of flour and butter. So that's four tablespoons of butter, four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. The heat is on medium, probably could turn it up a little bit. And you can work with a higher flame as long as you keep it moving. You can see the colors changing. And this is how you make a roux. Okay, I'm turning the heat off. I don't want it to be chocolate. I just want it to get brown. That looks good. All right. Okay, I'm gonna add some stock to this pot. And we'll heat that up and bring it up to a boil. You can't judge how thick it's going to be when it's not hot and boiling. It's gotta be boiling. So we have to bring it up to a boil. Could you see the color of that roux? That is beautiful. Look how brown that is. I love it. See that? Well, we brought the stock up to a boil. And now I'm just gonna add in about half of this but I want to put it in a little bit at a time. Just stir it in and let it come back to a boil and just let it come back to a boil and we'll see how thick it gets. And we'll let that boil for a minute or two and we'll see how thick it is. We'll also see if it needs any salt, pepper or any other spices. Oh, the turkey gravy looks so good and it smells so good. And it really does taste good, because I tasted it. But I just wanted to show you, if you pull your finger down the back of the spoon, and you can see a line where you pulled it out and it doesn't all just drip off, then your gravy is the right consistency. However, if you want it to be a little thinner or a little thicker, it's totally up to you. And you can do that with your roux. I didn't even put all of the roux in. Now I'll tell you what you can do. You can put 
more roux and then add a little more chicken stock or just some plain water. There's a lot of flavor there if you need more gravy. But that's pretty much the way I make turkey gravy. This turkey gravy is amazing. I'm just going to take a sip. Mm. Oh, it is so creamy. It tastes just like turkey gravy is supposed to taste. You know why? Because we use veggies and real turkey. No turkey flavor, nothing artificial. Real turkey gravy before Thanksgiving. I wanted to make sure you know that turkey gravy can be frozen. So why wait until the last minute to make it? Get your turkey wings a few months ahead of time, make the turkey gravy, put them in these little Chinese food soup containers. Just make sure that you only fill it about 80%, 80 maybe 85%. Don't go up to the top. You need room for expansion. You don't want it to crack. Then let it cool, put the top on, put it in the freezer. You'll have it ready for Thanksgiving, Christmas, or whenever you feel like having turkey. I mean, it'll last a year or two. You don't need to, I mean, it's too easy to make. You don't need to, to keep it in your freezer that long. But hey, make some turkey gravy. You'll really be happy that you did. So guys, I hope you enjoyed our video on how to make a turkey gravy before the holiday. And it's great. I hope you can master this on your own. It's really not that complicated. Pam and I want to thank you for watching the Sanders Kitchen. We really appreciate you guys tuning in. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so now. It really helps us out. If you have subscribed, then thank you again for your subscription. Anyway, we want to just say, go make you some turkey gravy. Master this. Have a great week. And as I always say, God bless you.